Hey everybody, so today we're looking at a 2020, uh, it's a 2060 RD reflection. And again, we're gonna go ahead and do a quick free exterior evaluation on it. So hang with me and we'll see what we can find. So there's a bunch of things to look at. I'm gonna kind of glance around. I'm gonna go into all the detail. But basically when anybody comes in, we're doing a free exterior evaluation of the coach. We're looking for things that's gonna cause you problems. You know, we're looking at things that are shrinking up, discoloring, cracking. So like, as you can see, the silicones and stuff are starting to dry up. They're starting to actually come off and missing in certain areas. Some of them are looking a little bit thin and dry. So as we're walking around the body, we're looking again for things that are discolored, things that are broken. We're looking, you know, are the rivets and, and stuff still on the awnings to make sure that nothing's come off, that it's gonna cause an issue. A lot of times I see the awning wires up here that are exposed. And I like to take and put a little bit of silicone and some corrugated tubing on them just to protect them, to keep them from going bad. Also things while it's in here, it's more of like recommendations like, hey Dustin, what would you do if it was yours? Well, I would definitely put some bug screens on my furnace. I would put a bug screen on my water heater. Do the same on my refrigerator. I'm sure that's probably missing as well. Let's see if I can get this guy open one-handed. You know, I'm looking at the water heater. You know, this is definitely the original drain plug. So that needs to be serviced. I look at stuff like the thermal cutoff, the ECOT stat, wiring harnesses. You know, I'm gonna go back and give it a lot more thorough inspection, but this is just to kind of give you guys some kind of heads up. So, you know, I talk to the owner, find out if the uh, water heater's ever been serviced. Doesn't look like it to me, but you know, we'll double check with them. Um, again, we're always looking at fender skirts. We've got cracks here, here, We've got cracks here, we got cracks here. So what I worry about that when I see stuff like that is I don't really want it to come off and travel and hit somebody behind you. You know, you know, obviously we're looking at tires. You know, we can see that they're wearing, this one's wearing a little bit funny. Um, a lot of times I look at the equalizers to see if it has the Dexter Easy uh, Flex equalizer on it. And then what shackle links did they put on it? As you can see, they put the thin shackle links on it, which uh, they make a kit that has the bigger ones. I'm also looking at like the springs to see if the springs look flat or not. Um, that one eh, kind of looks a little flat to me. But again, I'll, I'll check it out a little bit more thoroughly and take some measurements. Looking for hangers underneath the fender skirts and stuff to make sure that nothing's flapping in the wind. As you can see, that one's either missing or broke loose. So um, checking out the feet on the jacks, stairs, entry door locks, handles, again, awnings, lights. Is anything broken or cracked? In a minute, I'll get up on the roof and check that out. Unit was purchased from Lazy Days here in Sacramento. Again, other accessories like, hey, what would you do? Well, this has got an awning rail on it that's already set up for a slide out topper. So I definitely recommend it for a slide out topper. You can say, hey, you know, why should I put a slide out topper? Well, my roof's only an inch and a quarter, inch and a half thick. And so imagine being out in the heat. Um, if I use my thermal camera and showed you on a hot day, one with and without, the big difference in temperature change. So it's kind of like having an umbrella. Again, the refrigerator doesn't have any bug screens on there. You can see the cobwebs that are on here. I'll open it up in a little while and take some pictures and check that. You know, again, sealants, not treating any of the plastics. You can see they're already starting to dry out a little bit. Um, same thing, just touching that. You know, imagine if I'm, if I'm barely moving this and I'm going down the freeway, what kind of damage that's causing to that. Eventually it's gonna crack and shake and come off. Okay, so I'm up here on the roof. I haven't walked around yet and looked at anything. So as I'm seeing it, you're seeing it. Basically everything looks nice and still thick. You know, when they manufacture these, they're pumping it out of a 55 gallon drum versus us using a caulking tube. So you can see there they went a little bit wild. But what I wanted to show you is this is only a 2020. Look how bad that vent, and look how yellow that skylight already looks. 
same with the air conditioner. Look how dried out the plastics are. So that's kind of why I'm always preaching to the choir about using the 303 UV treatment, some kind of sun protection on it. You know, make sure that you treat your attic vents, your plumbing vents, your regular vent lids. You can see there's already been some tree branch scratches on that lid um, and tree branch scratches all the way across. Hopefully it didn't penetrate anything because if it did, if it made the slightest little cut or slightest little like pin tear over time, it'll cause it to dry rot from the condensation in the morning dew. So you can see that they did only one molding on the front cap and I'm not saying anything bad, but they are using this out of a 55 gallon drum when they cock it on. And if they would have had the front of the coach elevated a little bit, they wouldn't have had, you know, two, three inches of run over like that. So, when my guys are putting it on, I, I'm always on them about keeping it nice and clean and as straight as possible. I don't want any, I call it camel humps or big voids and gaps in anything. You can see right here where it's two different products compared to this, that there's silicone that's in here. Um, I would have carried the sealant out a little bit further and then make sure that, you know, all your corners and stuff are, are good. Make sure that all your side edges are good. A lot of the times the insert moldings will shrink up and they'll allow dirt and water to get trapped back in there behind it. I don't see too much of that going on, but again, this is not that old. Um, so other than that, the roof needs to be scrubbed and cleaned and treated. You need to tell the owner, hey, keep an eye out for those tree branches. Or he'll be coming in and getting a new roof. Maybe put on a maxi air cover, a couple covers up on the front. But overall, everything looks pretty good. Oh, is that a crack? Yep, sure is. So there's a crack in the skylight right there. I don't know if you can see it if I zoom in. But there's a crack in the plastic on the skylight. And there's another crack right there. And there's another crack right there. So let's just pretend he came in and said, hey guys, I'm here for a wheelbarrow pack or something simple. That's another reason why we go ahead and crawl up and do what we do. We want to keep you guys protected out having fun. You know, it'd be easy to skip something like that. And again, I'm not up here doing a thorough checkout. My guys will, or I will come back up later and do a more thorough inspection. But that could turn into a whole world of hurt. I could rot all those sheetings, damage the roof, rot the interior, hit the sidewalls, cause a number of issues. So, um, hopefully you enjoy these videos. Sorry I'm walking around so much and you're getting a lot of traffic noise, but at least you kind of know what to look at. All right, thanks so much for watching. Hey, don't click off just yet. I've linked some other videos for you to see what's in the shop. Thank you so much for watching.